This is Teaching Kids Programming Part 5 and today with the kids we talked about design patterns in coding. A design pattern is a reusable technique used to solve a particular problem in programming and the one we talked about today is called the observer pattern or pub sub is how it's usually called. You usually call it the observer pattern if you want to sound cool. Um, it's also called publisher subscriber for pub sub. And it's like everything in programming, it only sounds hard. It's really fairly straightforward. You've got a broadcaster. Say you're at a park and you're the parent and you're essentially the broadcaster. You've got this big megaphone of a mouth and you broadcast stuff. And there's some kids out there in the park and they're observers. I actually meant to draw an ear there, but this works just as well. So you've got some uh, observers out in the park, and we'll say this one's Jane, and she's in the first grade and likes to dance, and Bob also in the first grade and likes to not dance dance uh, oh. and we've got uh, Mary in the second grade who likes to dance so if you call out Jane. Well, only one of these three observers out there knows to respond to Jane. They're subscribed to that word in their head. They know when someone calls Jane, they're supposed to do something. So they are subscribers. If you call out first graders, Jane and Bob will respond because they know, hey, we're in the first grade. Somebody call first graders. That's us. We're going to need to do something. So they're subscribed to first grade. If you yell out dance, well, Jane and Mary are going to respond because they're subscribed to the word dance. They like to dance. They hear dance. They want to go do something. Bob, not so much. Bob is into mixed martial arts. He's uh, not a dancer. He had a bad experience with an ant when he was uh, six. So those are the subscribers and the person yelling those things out is the publisher or the broadcaster. And that is all PubSub is. That's all that design pattern is. There's a really good example of it in one of the sample projects that comes with Scratch. And you can find that by going File, Open, and go to Music and Dance, and look at Dance Dress Up. This does some neat stuff. It plays music and people dance, and when you click on them, they can change costumes. You're really just changing the costume on the, on the avatar. If you press a letter for interaction, you bring them up forward and they can do their dancing thing. Now all the dancing part was is fun and the changing costumes was fun and of course we had to make them into bats and babies and all kinds of things. But the important part of this lesson was that design pattern, was the observer pattern. So here on this dance where it says click to dance, when dance is clicked, we're doing this broadcast. We're broadcasting dance. Everyone that is subscribed to dance should go ahead and start dancing. Now, each one of these avatars has when I receive dance. In other words, when somebody broadcasts dance, I'm going to do this dancing effect, which is just some loops. It says if you're touching the platform, clear out some effects. Otherwise, just repeat all these dancing moves uh, some of them are doing a little fish eye effect and some of them are pixelated and different stuff. If we take Betty here and detach the when I receive dance subscription from anything and then start this again, you notice Betty here in blue doesn't dance because she's no longer subscribed to that particular event. And that was the whole point today, learning about a design pattern and coding. Design patterns and coding are very important. We've been learning the, the basic building blocks of coding conditionals and variables and loops and capturing user input. 
Design patterns are how you put all those together to make something a really functional piece of code. Something that's uh, robust, easy to understand when you make it, and easy to understand when in six months you come back and look at it and you've forgotten everything you've done. That's the observer pattern. That's what we did today. And I uh, hope you found that helpful. Bye-bye.